Welcome everyone. Today we're diving into a practical demo of how to work with external ID in Visual Studio. I am Jolene Kirui from Developer Advocacy and joining me today is Abaz, an expert in the field. Abaz, thanks for being here. Hi Jolene, thanks for having me. I'm Abaz and I'm currently a product manager in the developer experience team for external ID. I'm pretty excited to walk through this demo. Today, I want to showcase how you can use Visual Studio to integrate to external ID within Visual Studio itself. So you don't need to go through a browser and, you know, log into the entry portal. Oh, let's start with the basics. For those unfamiliar, can you explain what external ID is and why it is important for us? Absolutely. So external ID is a powerful set of capabilities that allows organizations to securely manage and interact with external users. As a developer, you can quickly add authentication and custom identity and access management to your consumer applications. So in external ID, you have something called uh, an external tenant, which allows you to have capabilities such as customized branding, you can set up custom domains, conditional access, as well as self-service password reset. So imagine you're building an e-commerce site and you need to authenticate your customers. You don't want to manage the hassle of building a separate backend for authentication. Uh, but on a high level, that's, where, that's what external ID is all about. I like that because it's all about um, secure authentication for your customers and partners as well. So if you have an e-commerce site and then you want them to log in, they can just access this setup already um, using the Microsoft external Entra ID. I like that. Great, so what are we going to demo today? Today I'll walk you through how to set up Visual Studio and configure an application that uses external ID for authentication. I will demonstrate how easy it is to set up an application with ASP.NET Core within Visual Studio and sign in your first user with the username and password. That sounds cool. So where do we begin? Okay, so let me walk you through the process. It's pretty simple. Uh, so first of all, you open Visual Studio, uh, as you can see on my screen. Then you come to create a new project, select sp.net core web app. I think you can search for it in templates as well. Uh, so once you click on that and click next, then you select your framework. Sorry, you give your project a name. So I'll give it a name like external ID demo. Uh, I think that sounds okay. Mm -hmm. Then you click next. So here is where you select your framework. Uh, for this example, I'll use .NET .NET 8 long-term support. Under authentication type, you select Microsoft Identity Platform. So Microsoft Identity Platform is the platform that Microsoft uses to issue and validate tokens with, with, with the apps that are in external ID. I leave the rest of the settings the same. Uh, then I click on Create. That looks uh, pretty straightforward so far. Uh, so what next for us? So I think what it's doing is it's creating a basic app. So it, it's creating a basic app and we'll need to configure it to use external ID. So to do that immediately, you'll see a pop-up come up mm -hmm. right now telling you to install the required components. And one of them is the .NET MS Identity Tool. So the .NET MS Identity Tool uh, give me a second. So this is uh, this is a part of the .NET CLI and it's used to integrate to the Microsoft Identity Platform to .NET applications. Um, so one of the key features it has is automatically registering an app on your external tenant and configuring your app settings.json that we later see. So going back to the demo, I'll click on next and proceed with installing this component. So usually um, I'll give it some time to load the to load the app registrations, but usually on this page, uh, it will ask me to enter my credentials. But since I'm already signed in to this account, 
um, it's not prompting me. So um, next I'll select the directory that I want to create the app on. Um, so in this case, I'll create it on my trial tenant. Uh, so it will load all the applications in my trial tenant. So while it's loading, maybe I can create an, okay, there it is. So I have, I have two apps called app and app demo. So let's just create a new one. I'll call it external ID. So I've given it another app name, external ID test. I will click next. Uh, so these are additional settings. I don't need to configure anything here. Um, but if you want to add the scopes or permissions, or you want to add permissions to another API, you can always configure them here. Um, I'll click on next and uh, I'll click on finish. Okay, so the app is already configured. Uh, once it's automatically configured, uh, you just click close. So now that we've registered the application, um, how do we actually validate that all configurations are correct? So great question. Uh, this is where app settings.json comes into play. Um, so when you want to validate whether app configurations are correct, as you can see, the MS identity tool has already configured for us the authority, which is your trial tenant login.com your client ID uh, for the app that you've created, as well as the client secret. Interesting. So it's really starting to come together. Uh, is there a specific identity provider uh, we're working with here? Yes. So for this demo, we'll use the email and password option uh, because that's how it's configured by default. So this allows uh, users to sign in with the email and receive a passcode to authenticate. However, there are much more other options on Entra Portal. And for this setup, uh, it's simple and effective, especially for scenarios where you want to give external users uh, quickly access to your app. Mm. Seems like that's the final bit of code required for our working application using external ID. So what's the final result here? So now that you've built a fully functioning web app where external users can authenticate using an external identity provider, in our case, we're using email and password, but you can easily use email and OTP or other identity providers available. Um, so right now, let's run and see how our app works. So I'll quickly come to debug, and then I'll click on start without debugging. So this will start the build process. Uh, so let's quickly see what happens. So the build is completed. Um, it's opened a web browser. Sorry. So this has taken me directly to the login page because I did not have anything on the home page configured. So let's log in and see what happens. So I've already entered uh, a user that I'd initially created and I'll just enter my password to authenticate my user. Uh, so stay signed in. Let me just click yes. And there you go. You have signed in your first uh, user with uh, external ID. Wow, that was very simple and quick. Uh, one final thought, just remember setting up external ID for your applications not only enhances security, but also simplifies your user experience for external collaborators. So Visual Studio makes it easy to integrate these features to your app within just a few steps. Also, we do have similar integrations with Power Pages if you're building websites, web services if you're uh, running like some uh, like where you just want to focus on your app and uh, not have to worry about authentication. And we also have an extension for Visual Studio Code uh, where you can quickly, similar to this, uh, you can quickly integrate to external ID. Uh, but I also ask uh, developers to come to the developer center for the links that we shared at the start and also the dev blogs to learn more about uh, st specific scenarios. So there are usually lots and lots of blogs uh, around different scenarios with external ID. 
and you can come to a different blogs to learn more about these specific scenarios. Okay, so maybe you can share the slide that you had at the beginning just for them to see the dev center. So this is uh, the dev center link https ak.ms/dev/ ms center. This is where you will get all the developer resources, uh, videos, uh, some blogs also. Uh, so that, that's like a one-stop shop for uh, for you if, if you're interested in developing an external ID. And the external ID developer blogs, uh, which you can find at aka.ms slash dev blog slash external ID. So every few days you'll find uh, new developer blogs around external ID. And there the, are the various scenarios uh, which may be similar to the scenario that you're working with. Amazing. And I think um, if they have any feedback around the product, they can reach out to you as well um, on LinkedIn, maybe somewhere else. Yeah, uh, I think you can reach out to us. Uh, we also have like some in product feedback as well. Um, and also, uh, in the developer center, there are forums there. So we always keep track of them and you can always uh, reach out to us via any of those channels. Yep. Uh, okay, so just to recap, um, what you've done today is you've used uh, Visual Studio, um, just to show you how simple it is to add external ID authentication for your customers and partners. Um, this can be like a site, like an e-commerce site where you want them to authenticate into your application, you can use external ID. And the one thing I really like about this product is uh, it's actually free for the first 50,000 users, right? Yes, it's it's absolutely free for the first 50,000 users, uh, especially when you're signing them up. I think you can read more about uh, our licenses. There's some land docs on them, but essentially, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's technically free for the first 50,000 users. That you're signing up. Yeah. Yes. Like yeah, that. that you're signing up. Yes. And the other yep. thing as well is that you are actually protecting your authentication as well using the full breadth of the Microsoft security because um, what Microsoft Entra external ID is actually part of the Microsoft Entra product family. So when you go to the Entra portal, which is usually entra.microsoft.com, you can be able to see all those features around uh, securing the identity of your, of your customers, of your employees as well. So there's so many features that yes. are available there, yeah? Yes, yes. I, I think one of the most notable ones, uh, you know, things like uh, user insights, um, the audit logs as well. So uh, you can go there, explore all the options that are there, um, find out, uh, you know, like like which features you want to use for your product and, uh, and, and use them accordingly. Exactly, yeah. So thank you so much, Abbas. I hope all of us are going to go in and explore this new feature uh, from Visual Studio and try it out and give us feedback as much as possible. Uh, we're looking forward to hearing back from you. Thanks so much. Abbas, any closing remarks? Uh, none at the moment. I think there is one. Uh, we also have a developer panel. If you go to the blogs towards the end of the blogs, you'll find uh, maybe some of them have, like if you would like to sign up for external ID. Uh, so basically uh, what we do is we, we, we can reach out to you uh, if you're interested in trying out some of the newer features or things that are in private preview, then we can always reach out to you. Uh, so maybe also sign up through that panel. Amazing. Thank you very yeah. much for tuning in. We look forward to hearing back from you.